Hey guys, this is SoulRack333 with another review, and here I have the Masters of the Universe Origins Snake Mountain. Finally got this, and this is awesome. My wife actually got it for me, and I am very happy. This thing is really cool. Um, it's going to be incomplete, and I'll explain why in a little bit. But here is the face part of the playset has a kind of rubbery chains I guess the other side has the steps and a lot of the faces molded onto the side here and it also has this soft rubbery fleshy bit which uh, is really neat feels gross um, it'd be nice if the Super 7 Snake Mountain had that. It'd also be really nice if the Super 7 actually had latches. That was stupid of them for not including that. But this one does. Uh, this has the mouth gimmick. And then right above is the wolf's head which is pretty cool and I just want to do a quick little bit of posing there with this kind of tour with uh, my custom panther yeah that's gonna look really cool when it's complete So, open it up. Now, everything is still inside. And I haven't attached anything yet. And the reason is, I'm going to paint them up. I'm going to repaint Snake Mountain. And I think there are some pieces that once you attach, they are, they are no longer removable. So it would make the painting a lot easier if I just do it now before I put it together. So I think this is on there permanently. I don't know if that can come out, but I'm not going to risk it. I think attaching these to the bridge, it's going to be a pain to take out. And then the dungeon piece. Yeah, I'm not going to assemble anything until after it's painted. So, so yeah, right now you're getting the unassembled version. Um, Throne. It's gonna be awesome. Looking at the throne though, this is soft rubber. Um, it's pegged in there. <coughs> I'm not gonna, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not gonna try to remove it though. I might break it. Um, but yeah, it's gonna look really cool. And uh, here's the snake. The neck is posable. I think this can rotate right here. Um, this, I'm just going to give a black wash. I like this shade of green, so I'll just give it a black wash. Same with the wolf's head. Um, I don't think I'm going to paint that one other than just a black wash, depending on how it looks after the wash. Maybe a little bit of dry brushing on top of that, but um, but everything else is going to get repainted. I'll have to mask up the stickers. Um, now I have to clean this thing, so I think uh, I won't be able to use soap and water because I will risk damaging uh, all of those. Uh, stickers 
So I think I can use uh, like alcohol uh, and then uh, mask up those stickers and then once it's masked up spray paint the whole thing in flat black and I'll give it the same paint scheme I did with the uh, Masterverse Panthor so it might be like this but I have a feeling it might look more like the masterpiece of the Masterverse uh, Panthor that I just uh, reviewed and, and sold this one is dark I like how dark this is but um, I don't know we'll see what it looks like when it's done uh, but since I still have the paint that I use for Panthor it'll probably look more like that I don't remember what I used for this um, but yeah this is gonna be really cool I'm excited there you go we're gonna have one of the snake men do this. But yeah, it's kind of a incomplete review. I'm already seeing screws that I could probably remove to make things easier. Uh, the wolf's head. Very cool. Uh, and uh, here's a little teaser of what's coming. I finish that I'll get started on this thanks for watching guys